Y yo, ¿por qué lo voy a pegar? Usted le pe usted
Jimmy. How are you, Jimmy? Hello, teacher. Hello, How teacher. Are you? Fine. Good. How's everything? Yeah. All is good. How's your family? I think good. You have one baby, right? Yeah. No more. <laughs> No, no more. <laughs> and you live in San Marcos, I think, do you? San Jacinto, no? No, in, in San Salvador. Oh, okay, good. Nice. So you're working from Monday to Friday or Saturday? Uh, Monday to Saturday. Okay, good, good, nice. Ricardo. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm doing okay. Thank you. How are you? Yes, I am okay, teacher. Thank you. Good. Were you on vacation yesterday? No, teacher. I'm sorry. I had a, a connection problem yesterday in my house. <laughs> sorry. Okay. No problem. No problem. How many hours a day do you work? Sorry, teacher. How many hours a day? Do you work? Let me see. It. Uh, I start um, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m., maybe 10 hours. I don't know. <laughs> okay. All right. Good. Good. What about you, teacher? Um, I, let's see, I have my first class at 10 in the morning. Yes. But I work in an office where I have to work at, I start working at 8 a.m. 8 a.m. Okay. Yeah, so I make a combination of uh, office work, classes, uh, personal things, different things. Yes, I like know. Teacher. Yep. Uh, tell me about the... Uh... Uh, about the class, about the yesterday class, please. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, okay, Stephanie, how are you, Stephanie? In a minute, Ricardo. <laughs> yes, thank you. Here. I am fine. Good. How was your day? Uh, very tired. Okay. What time do you start working, Stephanie? Uh, today uh, at seven thirty. And what time do you finish? Five o'clock. All right, good, good. <laughs> Stephanie, do you remember the topics we spoke about yesterday? Uh, yes, sometimes. Uh, uh, the teacher, uh, simple present, and the bird, uh, the future. And the some activities you have in your work and your pattern in work. Okay. Yes, um, Ricardo, we we review the simple present tense. Okay. Yeah. So um, and we also, I think we were, yeah, we there was a parenthesis where we were speaking about um. Uh, Jobs, about, maybe. About, about future, future events. Future. Yep. Okay. So the, uh, remember that every day, uh, the class that we have every day is in the YouTube channel. Okay. So uh, Inglés Corporativo sent everybody an email with different links, including um, uh, the link to have access to the videos that we have every day. Okay. Yep. Thank you, teacher. All right, no problem. So let me see this here. All right, Rosa, how are you? Fine, thank you, good night. How was good evening, your... good evening, yeah, good evening. sir. <laughs> how was your day? 
what's good. Uh-huh. Good. What time do you usually arrive to your house? At about 7 p.m. Okay, good. Good. Seven yeah. seven p.m. is a good time. It's still yes. early. Still yes. early. Yes, yes, it, it's early. Yeah. To, when I arrive, I prepare the dinner to my my kid, my son. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. And I was I was hurrying hurrying me up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. Louis. Yes. Hi. How are you? Fine, fine, thank you. Did you have a good day? Yeah, it was a good day. A busy day, but it was good. Nice, nice. How many hours a day do you work? Um, Like eight hours. I start okay. at, at eight and finish at six. Okay, all right. Good, good. All right, so welcome back, everybody. What time is it? 8.06. 8.06. Let me see. My computer says 8.09, but that time is not. Yeah, it's 8.07, 8.06. Yes, that is. Okay, how do you say la hora está adelantada? So in the case of my computer, my computer says 8.09, but that's not the correct time because the time is ahead. Early. Ahead, adelantado, ahead. What is the opposite of ahead? Uh, you say the time is ahead or the hour is ahead or how do you say? Oh, the time, the time is ahead. So in my case, I can say my computer is ahead. My watch is ahead. The clock is ahead. What's the opposite of ahead? Uh, behind. Yes, behind. Very good. My watch is behind. So behind means that your 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 watch, your clock, your computer, your cell phone, the hour is a little bit behind. All right. So do you guys remember the topics we covered yesterday? It's negative statements of simple present. Yes. What are the two options that we have to talk about negative actions in simple present? So imagine, how do you say mi celular no funciona, no trabaja? My cell phone does not, does not work. Good. That's good. Yeah, my cell phone doesn't work, my cell phone does not work. How do you say estos dos teléfonos no funcionan? These two phones do not work. Good. These two phones do not work. So we use do, uh, we use don't and doesn't. Yes. Any questions? Anything else? So, Stephanie, how do you say mi vecino no miente? Uh, how do you say vecino is neighbor? Neighbor, yes. My neighbor who? My neighbor. My neighbor does. No miente, no miente. Uh, how do you say menti? Lie. Uh, my neighbor does. Does. Doesn't. Lie. I, lie. My neighbor doesn't lie. 
My neighbor. My neighbor doesn't lie. My neighbor doesn't lie. Okay, so remember if the information is negative, you will say don't, and you will also say doesn't. Any questions? So you use do with this they, we, and I. Are you we they? Are you we they? Okay. Yep. And doesn't with he, she, it. Mm -hmm. Rick, how do you say ella no sabe la verdad? Let me see. Uh, she doesn't. Um, she doesn't the truth. She doesn't the truth. Ella no sabe. She doesn't know the truth. Sorry. <laughs> Excellent. She doesn't know the truth. Uh huh. Rosalena, how do you say? Este carro no va rápido. This car doesn't go fast. Excellent. Very good. How do you say yo no sé? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. How do you say él no sabe? He don't know. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. Yes. All right. Very good. So you guys are absorbing the topics and that's good. All right. Any questions before we start? No. So what time is it again? What's the time? 8-12. 8-12. All right. What is today's date? Today is Thursday. Yes. Rosa, how do you spell Thursday? T-H-I. T-H-U. T-H-U-R-S-D-A-Y. Excellent. What is the month, Maria Castillo? What's the month? February. Yes. How do you spell February? F E Uh huh. F E Caesar, do you know how to spell February? Caesar, Caesar, or anybody else? How do you spell February? Uh, it's F E B R A R U R Y. Okay, one more time, Luis. F E B R U a R I Y R Y Y Y sorry Y very good okay and what is the date class what is the date February 4th oh. yes Antonia can you hear me Antonia Antonia ah. No están oyendo estos muchachos. How do you spell fourth? F O U R. F O U R? T H. T H. Excellent. And what is the year? 2021. Excellent. Excellent. So there we have the date. Thursday, February 4th, 2021. Let's begin. So um, tomorrow we finish our second week. We finish our second week tomorrow. So let me share this here. Do you remember this information? 
Can you see my book? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. So we were talking about Oneida, Nelly, Rick, and Max. And, the, and we were discussing the things they do and the things they don't. Any questions about that information? Do Oneida and Nelly work with softwares? Yes. Yes, they do. Yes, yes they, they do. do. Uh -huh. Excellent. Do Oneida and Nelly sell antivirus? Mm. No, they don't. You mm. sure? No, they don't. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Well, no, they don't. Just, just Oneida. Yes. Um, let me see. But, but. Well, but install, install antivirus. Install antivirus, no, right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I guess it's negative. Mm -hmm. What about number three? Do Ricardo and Max get money from sales? Yes. Yes, um, what? Only, only, Max, only, Rick, only Ricardo, uh, only Max. Only Max? Precise. Only Max? Does okay. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah, only Max does. What about number four? Do Ricardo and Max write reports? No, they don't. No, no, they don't. Are you sure? Only Ricardo. Only Ricardo. Oh, yeah, does. yeah. Only Ricardo does. Yes. Only Ricardo. Uh -huh. does. Only Ricardo does. Okay. Very good. Uh, here we have a mistake, one, two, three, four, it should be five and six. Number five, do Ricardo and Max repair computers? No, they don't. No, they don't. Very mm -hmm. good. And do Oneida and Nelly install uh, programs? Yes, they are. No, only Oneida. Only Oneida does. Only Oneida does. Only Oneida does. <laughs> okay, very good. Any questions? So imagine that I ask you, do you and your brother like Mexican food? Do you and your brother like Mexican food? Yes, we do. How do you say solo a él? Uh, just him. Just him or only he does? Um, oh, only him, I think. Only he does. Only, only he does. Teacher. Yes, always sir. we need to say always we need to say does or do depend the case it, it depends on the personal pronoun that uh that you're using yes okay. only he does only they do only i do yes all right any questions or comments about oneida nelly rick and max Questions? In this case, uh, I it sounds like a short answers. Yes, they yes. are short answers. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we, you know, we can you know, we can make long answers. Sure, you can. But the idea to use uh, short answers is that uh, that you speak less complicated. Yeah. So, do you speak Spanish? Yes, I do. Okay. Do you speak Italian? No, I don't. I don't. So that, that's the idea. Okay. But yes, you can give long answers. Do you speak Spanish, Francisco? Yes, I speak Spanish. So yes, you can. All right. Any any other questions, comments? No? All right. Let me see this here. So we're using do and does. This is your first activity. Imagine, give me a second. Okay, imagine that you are from another country that is not El Salvador. And you are visiting El Salvador for the first time. Va a ser de caso que usted es extranjero y nunca ha venido a El Salvador. Usted le tiene que hacer 
dos preguntas a su amigo, el que lo está esperando acá. Cualquier clase de pregunta ocupando do and does. Are you ready? Okay. <laughs> o, o haga de caso que usted va a otro país. ¿Qué le va a preguntar a su amigo que lo esté esperando allá? Me explico. Usted va para Canadá por primera vez, va a Estados Unidos por primera vez, va para Colombia por primera vez. Entonces hay un grado de ansiedad que usted quiere preguntar cosas, pues, ¿qué cosas preguntaría? ¿Gare? ¿Cómo le va a preguntar usted qué moneda ocupan allá? Ok, do you make pupusas? Excellent, very good. How do you say moneda? Very good, Caesar. How do you say moneda in English? Coin. Yes, coin. Ok, coin Esa. makes reference para la moneda, la física. Ok, dos monedas. Yes. Pero Money. para hablar en general, ¿qué moneda ocupan en Colombia, por decir así? Usted va a decir... Esos colombianos. What currency? Oh, yeah. What currency do people use in... Y ahí pone el, 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 el número del... El nombre del, del, del país. What currency do people use in... Mexico, Canada, Kuwait, South Africa, all those. So, make two questions. Una con do y una con does. Let's go. Ok, permítame un momento que me estoy quedando sin batería. Give me a second. Ok, teacher.
Okay, do you know any interesting place to visit? Very good. Do you have a passport? Very good. Does he visit the Cuscatlan Stadium? Very good. Do people go to the park on Sunday? Very good. Does your mother go with us to the Niagara Falls? All right, good. Do you know a place for surfing? Good. Nice. Vamos a ver, ¿quién más? Who else? Who else? Does she like pupusas? Do we have any money? Very good. Who else? ¿Quién más? Uh, do we have any money? Do people eat spicy food? Do people eat spicy food? Okay, does El Salvador get a good... Okay, does El Salvador have good beaches? Does El Salvador have good beaches? Okay, teacher, thank you. Very good. Anybody else? Quien más? Who else? Mm -hmm. Does she work in the in El Tunco Beach? Does she work in El Tunco Beach? Very good. Anybody else? Do I change money in the airport or in a bank? Very good, nice question. Now, when you, um, what would be the answer for that question? Do I change money in the airport or in a bank? What would be the best option? In a bank, I think. In a bank? Yeah, the bank pays yeah. better, a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Do you know about a good hotel in El Salvador? Very good. Do I need to bring summer clothes or winter clothes? Very good. Mm -hmm. Anything else? What kind of clothing would you recommend someone visiting El Salvador? Summer clothes. Uh-huh. What is summer clothes? Um, a t-shirt, shirts. Uh-huh. Yeah, shorts, t-shirts. Mm -hmm. All right. Anybody else? Alguien más? Anybody else? Do I need to visit the theater? Yes. Which theater? The National Theater? Have you visited the National Theater, people? It's a nice place. Nice. Beautiful place. Yeah, beautiful. Inside place. is a beautiful. Yes, it's very beautiful. Very beautiful. All right. Anybody else? Any other examples? Any other questions? No? Okay, very good. So, tenemos que participar. Uh, teacher, uh -huh. how do you say uh, genus or chancletas in English? Sandals. Sandals. Uh, yeah. Okay. Sandals, yes. So, Antonia, Stephanie, Caesar, Rosalena, Luis, Vilma, Rick, Maria, Rick again, Rosemary, Stephanie, and Rosalena. Okay. Does your brother play football with us? Very good. Do you want to go to the movies? Very good. Do you know if that place is dangerous to visit? Okay, good. Yeah. You know, El Salvador has a lot of beautiful places, but you have to be careful, a little bit careful. All right. Anyways, so let's continue. Let me see. Uh -huh. And here we go. All right, can you see my book? Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. What is the topic? How to use yes, no question in the place. Pardon, the question in simple present. Sorry. Thank you. How to use yes, no questions in simple present. Very good. So remember, when you are making a question in the simple present, cuando está haciendo una pregunta en el presente simple, you always use do 
and you always use does. What's the difference between do and does? The subject. The subject. The subject, exactly. What personal pronouns do I use with does? Person. He, she, and it. Third person. Third person is he, she, and it. Very good. So, I, you, we, they, the auxiliary that you would use to make questions is do. Do I get up early? Do you call other companies? Do they transport the product? Do we check the policies? Any questions there? No? Okay, so remember, when you answer a question, si la pregunta va con do, usted tiene que responder con do. Si la pregunta va con does, la respuesta tiene que regresar con does. So if I say, uh, Antonia, do you speak Spanish? Do you speak Spanish, Antonia? Yes, I do. Excellent, very good. If I say, Rosalena, do you have children? Yes, I do. Okay. Luis Martinez, do you ride a motorcycle? No, I don't. Okay. Ricardo, do you live in Usulután? No, I don't, teacher. Okay. Maria Castillo, can you hear me? Maria, Maria. Okay, Caesar, can you hear me? Okay. Yes, yes. Okay, Caesar, do you work on Saturdays? Do you work on Saturdays, Caesar? ¿Qué le estoy preguntando a Caesar? Que si trabaja los sábados. Ajá. So if I ask you, do you work on Saturdays? What would be the answer? Maybe if, it's, if I, he said, yes, I do, or no, I don't. Okay, very good. Maybe he will say, yes, I do, or no, I don't. Maria Castillo, can you hear me? Maria, Maria. Vilma Sorto, can you hear me? No, no me oyen esta gente, mire. No. Vilma, can you hear me? Yes. Do you watch television every day? Yes, I do. Excellent, very good. So this is what you will do. I need a volunteer to read the instructions in part five, please. Read the instructions. Create yes, no questions using the words in parentheses. Write the answers. Excellent. So what you need to do is make the questions. So you have to make the questions using do, pero ocupando el vocabulario que le están dando ahí en los parentheses. Y debe de responderlo. Sometimes it's positive. Sometimes it's negative. Are the questions clear? Only the first, I am, um, do, do, do you work in the bank? Do you work in a company? Ah, do you work in a company? Uh-huh. Okay, okay. So, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Why not? Okay, good. So the same way Rosalena is doing number one, everybody mm -hmm. has the, five, uh, the five exercises. Is it clear? Estamos bien? Tiene que hacer preguntas ocupando el vocabulario que está en los paréntesis y las preguntas deben ir con, con do. Ok, Go ahead.
Let me know when you're finished. Okay, Luis. Two more minutes, two more minutes. All right, volunteer for number one. Anybody? Uh, do you work in a company? Yes, I do. Excellent. Number two, another volunteer. Do they check the product? No, do they no. check the product? No, they don't. No, they don't. Very good. What is number three? Another volunteer. Do we listen to pro? Do Customers? we listen to customer? No, no, I don't. No, I don't. Or is it positive or negative? Do we listen to customers? No, I don't. Ahí dice yes. Oh, we do. Yeah, we. Okay. Yes, we do. Very good. Thank you, Stephanie. What about number four? What is number four, people? Yo, do okay. I buy the new material? Good. No, no, I don't. Excellent. Do I buy the new material? No, I don't. And what is number five? Milena and Pablo design logo. One more time. Uh, I'm sorry. Do Milena and Pablo design logo? Uh huh. Yes, they do. Excellent. Very good. Uh, teacher, is design A or design logo? Uh, a logo or the logo. But, yeah. but you, you cannot say design logo. You have to say you, no, a you could, or the. You could, you could, if it's plural. Do Milena and Pablo ah. design logos? Then puede ir sin el artículo definido o el sin artículo uh, definido. Cualquiera but logo. right... But in this example, it's singular, a logo or yeah. the logo. A, a logo or the logo. Okay. Yeah. Ahí le falta el, el artículo al, al number five. Okay. Any other questions or comments, people? Questions or comments? All right. And, and, the, and the answer for the number five is yes, they do. Yes, they do. Exactly. Uh, yes, they do. Sure. Yes, sure. sir. Quizás podemos decir, verdad, de que la forma interrogativa de presente simple es bien similar con la forma afirmativa, verdad. Solo utilizamos el do y el das y lo ponemos anterior, verdad. Antes exactly. De exactly. Cuando estamos hablando de acciones, si mm. estamos hablando de condiciones, ocupamos el verbo to be. Por ejemplo, pregúnteme si estoy contento. Are you happy? Are you happy? Is that an action or a condition? Condition? It's a condition. So, para condiciones, you need to use verb to be. Am, is, are. Pregúnteme si ella está triste. Is, is she sad? sad? Is she sad? Is that an action or a condition? Condition. A condition, exactly. So, when we're speaking about actions, you always use do or does. 
if you're speaking about conditions, then you use a uh, verb to be. Anything else? Algo más? Okay, so we go to part six. I need a volunteer to read the instructions in part six, please. Mm -hmm. Create. Create a questionnaire, questionnaire, questionnaire. 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 And ask the questions to a different classmate. Mm -hmm. Write his, her answer. Share with everybody. Okay, very good. So, this is going to be the first part. La primera parte, usted va a trabajar en parejas con alguien y van a hacer tres preguntas. Tres preguntas. Si, digamos, yo estuviese trabajando con Rosemary, yo le diría, Rosemary, ¿qué tres preguntas podemos hacerle a alguien? Y me voy a poner de acuerdo con Rosemary. Cuando ya estén respondidas, las, las, eh, cuando ya estén hechas las preguntas, las practica. Ya después lo voy a volver a trabajar en pareja con alguien más y a esta persona usted le va a preguntar las, le va a hacer las tres preguntas. Any questions? No. I guess not. All right. Let me see this here. Five. Create rooms. Add a room. No. Recuerden que Rosemary está enferma de la garganta, entonces solo va a estar escuchándola. Ok, so here we go. Vamos a poner a trabajar en el grupo, ¿no? Sí. Están viendo esto, el customer. So, do and does. Do and does. Questionnaire and ask the question to a different classmate. Right here, oh, yeah. oh, answers. O sea, eso significa anote su, su respuesta oh, de él o de ella, sí. Ah, sí, sí. Claro. O sea, cuando hagamos la pregunta, hay que anotar lo que nos respondan. Ah, sí. ok. Ok, llegamos otro, ¿no? Se ve. No, es saber. 
más en negativo. Ajá, es que yo escuchaba que usted decía, do you know? Ajá, es que... Es, es, no, es, do you know, es, tú sabes. Ok. Uh -huh. Teacher. Yes. Yo tengo una duda. Ask me, Antonia. En lo que estábamos viendo, este, yo tenía en mis apuntes que cuando era... Espera, 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 espera. ¿Dónde está? El do era para el I, you, eh, he, she. Y el do, dos, dos, dos. Ok. Era el, he, he. El, el do, el do es para I, you, we, they. Does okay. is for he, she, it. Um, so it's the opposite, Antonia. Sí, ya pues no, yo eh, lo tenía mal. <laughs> yeah. And the, teacher. Yes, Stephanie. I have. I have a question. Ask me, Stephanie. When I say, do you know how do you prepare or do you know makes? Vale, eh, digamos, quiero de, es que quiero decir, tú sabes elaborar balances financieros. Entonces, yo lo había hecho. Do you know how do you prepare a final balance? O eh, sería, no. do you know to prepare a makes? No, uh, en ese caso puede ocupar los dos. Usted puede decir, do you know how to prepare a financial balance. Uh -huh. Aplica uh -huh. el prepare. Or uh -huh. do you know how to make a financial balance? También aplica. Ah, entonces las dos serían... Eh... The two options are good. The two options are uh, good. Thank you. You're welcome. So, Antonia, ¿está claro con quiénes vamos a ocupar do y con quiénes das? Yes. Excellent. Sí, es que me había confundido. No problem. Todos nos equivocamos. Teacher, Don't worry. Yes. Eh, can you repeat the pronunciations of final? Financial. 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 Financiero. Financial. Ajá. Uh -huh. Only uh, three. Bueno, digamos, yo había entendido que la actividad era tres. Voy a hacer tres preguntas con ella. Después voy a cambiar a tres preguntas con otra persona. Entre las dos, entre las dos van a ser tres preguntas. Ahora les voy a decir, ok, se les acabó el tiempo. Los voy a poner a trabajar con alguien más y con esta segunda persona que van a trabajar ahí practican sus preguntas. Ah, ok. Yes. Ok. Pero the questions only to the work or they can they can be work related or they can be about their personal life. Cualquiera de las dos. Ah, ok. Ajá. Uh -huh. No problem. Uh, ok. All right. Ah, uh, ok, good. Hello, ladies. Hello. How are you? Fine. Is correct answer, does Marta have a dog? Does Marta yes. have a dog? Ha. Sure. Ah, okay. Yeah. Does Marta have a dog? Okay. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Exactly. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, sería... Ajá. Sería what, what book are you reading, verdad? Ah, también. Ah, what book are you reading? Are you reading? Se dice para decir qué libro estás leyendo. What kind of book are you are you reading? What kind of book are you reading? Okay. Yeah, what kind of book are you reading? Yes. ¿Por qué, teacher? Porque le está diciendo qué clase de libro estás leyendo. What kind of book are you reading? 
Aunque esa, esa pregunta está muy elaborada y está perfecta, pero ese ya es presente progresivo, ya no es presente simple. Por oh, yeah. it's, it's good. It's a good question. Bueno, pero es progresivo, teacher. Yeah, yeah, but it's a good question. It's a good question. Yeah. Very good. All right, all right. So, are you ready with the questions? Ready with the questions? Okay, vamos a hacer una pausa. I'm going to take it. Yes. A when I call your name, you activate the camera and you say, present. Vamos acá. Alicia Hernández Monge. Absent. Cesar Argueta. Caesar, Caesar, a Cesar lo vi temprano. Absent. Claudio Osorio. Absent. Stephanie Martinez. Present. Thank you. Jacqueline Martinez. Absent. Jessica Escamilla. Absent. Catherine Hueso. Absent. Recuerda ir poniendo absent en, su chat, en el chat. Luis Martínez. Present. Thank you. María Esther Castillo. Present. Can you activate your camera, María, please? Thank you, María. Uh, María Gabriela Ramos. Absent. Marta Alicia Monge. Marta, Marta. Marta, Marta. Marta, can you answer? Marta, please. Marta Araceli Rodríguez. Marta Araceli Rodríguez, absent. Osmin Baires. Present. Thank you, Osmin. Antonia Rodríguez. Present. Thank you, Antonia. Ricardo Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Roselena Salgado. Present. Thank you, Rosemary George. She's Present. Here. Thank you. Sandra Carolina Monge, absent. Vilma Sorto, present. Thank you. And Janet Morales, Janet, 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 absent too. Marta Monge, are you here? Present. 
Can you activate your camera, Marta, please? Okay, permítame que no lo Okay, puedo. very good. Thank you, Marta. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so let's continue. So, ahorita los voy a cambiar de pareja y va a preguntarle el ejercicio anterior. Give me a second. Dos, cuatro, siete personas, ocho han escrito en el chat. Todos tienen que poner present en el chat. Ok, so let me see this here. Breakout rooms. Recreate. Recreate. Okay, very good. So let me see. All right. Uh, vamos a poner acá. Y a esta persona lo vamos a mover acá. Here we go, people. Osmin, how are you? I am fine, thank you, teacher, excuse me. No problem. Puede irse al salón número tres usted. Can you go to room three? Okay, one moment, please. Please, thank you. Oh. 
Mm -hmm. Hey, Ricardo, where do you live? I live in Aguilares of the North San Salvador. Uh, yeah. So to get there, you go like, you go to... Chalatenango. Ajá, ajá. Troncal del Norte. Chalaten. Yes, Ajá, teacher. You can use Troncal del Norte, the beautiful Troncal del Norte. <laughs> <laughs> With no accidents. Yeah, <laughs> but I, I prefer driving the Troncal del Norte and the Chorros, teacher. <laughs> yeah, true. Los Chorros, there is always traffic. And always accident, get yeah. accident. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. But, but, um, the boulevard, the Constitution Boulevard? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. This is go uh, Aguilares. The, this is, you, you, how do you say it? The uh -huh. highway, like, the highway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the way. entrance, right. Mm -hmm. You can get the Constitution Boulevard and you are in the Popa. Later you uh, made a uh, okay. sort of the left. Mm -hmm. And let me see it, maybe uh in 20 kilometers you are kilometers. in Aguilares. kilometers yes. mm -hmm. kilometers yeah mm -hmm. okay and how and how's the weather in, in Aguilares? is hot or, or it's cold right now because here in it's Sudan, so hot it's it's, it's hot. so hot it's so hot yeah like really? like yeah. like san miguel no no because in in this moment we had uh let me see my cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> 28 centimeters. Let, let me go. ask Moises Urbina. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> and now today today was very cold. Yeah, it was in fresh. Morning, in, the, in, the yes, was, in the morning was cold. In the was morning it, was cold. In yes. your city. In your city. Yes. In yeah, it's San Salvador it was it was fresh. Yes, it was cold. It was because in my cold. city, no? <laughs> really? Yeah. No, what what also, part of San Salvador are you in, Rosa? Uh, I live in La Gloria. Oh, La Gloria. Okay. Yes. And mm -hmm. you, Luis? Escalón. Okay. Yeah. Cause I, I, have, I, uh -huh. I have the the volcano, the San Salvador volcano. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Beside, uh, behind me. <laughs> okay. So you go to your yard, you go to the patio, and you see the volcano. Uh, in this case, it's the, the house of the, the neighbor, but in the street, I uh -huh. see near, nearly yeah. the volcano. Yeah, yeah. Many years ago, like uh, 20 years ago, I used to live in uh, Montebello. Ah, okay. Yeah, so Mon yeah. No. Where's Montebello? Montebello is near Miralvalle, near Satellite. Oh. I know mm -hmm. it is. Okay, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Montebello is near La Gloria. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. San Ramon. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Let me visit other rooms. Okay. Okay, teacher. Hello, sir. Hello, ladies. Hello, Hello teacher. Mama. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Yeah. Did you have Mama. a nice day, Vilma? Mama. What? Did you have a nice day? Very good. Nice. Yes. What about you, Maria? Did you have a nice day? Yes. Yes. A nice day. Good. Do you guys work on Saturday? Do you work on Saturday? Yes, I do. Okay, what about you, Vilma? Do you work on Saturday? Uh, yes. What time do you finish? Um, 12. Good. And you, Maria, what time do you finish? Two. At two? No. Two the... How do you say también? Two. Oh, uh, me too. Me too. Me too. Okay, good, good. Teacher, yo yes. quisiera saber, yeah. yo siento que a mí me cuesta mucho pronunciar, o sea, o expresar, okay. pero no sé, no nos puede dar así unos tics <ríe> rapidito para saber qué hacer. Pues mire, siento... la, 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 el, la clave está en que, usted, en que ustedes se expongan al idioma lo mucho posible. 
Si digamos, usted tiene Facebook y pasa mucho tiempo en Facebook, póngalo en inglés. Si usted trabaja mucho con su computadora, con su correo, póngalo en inglés. Si usted es de las personas que miran mucha televisión, trate de verlo en inglés. Cuando oiga <risa> música en inglés, póngale atención. Y recuerde, el inglés es un proceso que empieza entendiendo palabras, chunks, uh -huh. y al final llegan las, las oraciones completas. Pero hay que ser consistente, hay que, hay que insistir. Hay que practicar, practicar todos los días, me imagino. Exactly. You need to practice every day y no ausentarse de la clase. En especial, okay. en especial, si la clase <risa> es el único espacio que usted tiene para practicar inglés, con mucha más razón. Uh -huh. so, okay. no, y, y yo entiendo pues de que a ah, las 8 de la noche, a las 9, ya estamos cansados, la familia no está esperando y todo, <risa> pero hay de hacer el, el esfuerzo, el, el sacrificio y pues las, los resultados, la recompensa llega más temprano que tarde. <risa> Eso esperamos, Tiche. Yeah, do it, do it. Ustedes tienen Facebook. Do you have Facebook? Yes. yes. English or Spanish? Spanish. Spanish. Why Spanish? You don't need Spanish. ¿O necesitan más español en su vida? No. No, no ¿Qué I necesitan? Need. What do you need? ¿Qué idioma necesitan en su vida? English. English. Exactly. Entonces, les decía en una ocasión, cuando usted programa su Facebook en inglés, cada vez que usted lo abre, cada vez que usted lo visita, está viendo vocabulario en inglés y es vocabulario que se ocupa en otras circunstancias también. Entonces, de estarlo viendo, de estarlo viendo, de estarlo viendo, de estarlo viendo, sin necesidad de estar repitiendo ni nada, usted internaliza. Y una vez internaliza, pues lo ocupa de manera natural. ¿Ya? ¿Cómo se dice ajustes en inglés? How do you say ajustes en inglés? I don't know. Ajá. Le garantizo de que si usted tuviese su Facebook en inglés, me hubiera dicho settings. Porque se dice settings. Entonces, a lo que quiero llegar es de tanto ver una palabra, usted la internaliza. Y una vez la internaliza, esa palabra ya nadie se la quita. So hay que exponerse al, al idioma lo más posible. Okay. Yeah. And practice Thank makes you. perfect. Yes. Visitaré otro, otro salón antes de irnos al main session. Ok, bye. Bye, bye. Hello, hello, ladies. Hello. Hello, teacher. How are you today? ¿Cómo está? Fine. Good. Good. Do you finish your week tomorrow or do you finish your week on Saturday? Uh, in my case, I finish my week on Saturday. On Saturday. Marta, do you work on Saturdays? Trabaja los sábados. You're off on Saturday. Okay. Rosemary, do you work on Saturdays? No. O sea, a ver. Okay. En la casa, pero. Okay. So, you, you sound choppy, Rosemary. Se le corta la voz. Usted está en que salte que me está dijo. Fallando. You're in no, en San Salvador. Oh, San Salvador. Es que mi papá vive en Quesaltepeque. Ajá. Oh, que nos estaba diciendo la historia de su apellido. Tienes razón. Yes. Ajá. Ok, good, good. All right. So let's ¿Y usted trabaja los... Los sábados trabajo... Um, de... Trabaja los sábados, teacher. Yeah. Trabajo los sábados en la mañana de manera presencial. Ay, qué chido. Ya. Yeah. Y pues, um, sí. durante la semana doy dos clases en línea. Esta con ustedes y otra de 10 de la mañana a 12 del mediodía. Mm. So, en línea. Yep. Ya. Yeah. Marta está... O sea que es, su es profesor. Micrófono. Ajá, dígame. Micrófono. 
¿Es profesor de tiempo completo de inglés? Eh, no. Mi, mi, mi profesión es, es maestro de inglés, sí. Pero he estado en los últimos tres años, por decir así, estoy en la parte administrativa de un call center y quizás unas cuatro horas al día que doy clase. So it's a combination ah. that I make. Pero en sí, ah, yeah. mi, mi, mi oficio es profesor de inglés. De inglés. Yeah. Tiene la vocación. Tiene la vocación. Sí, sí. Tiene la vocación. Ahí está. ¿Cómo hacer, perdón, este, ¿cómo este, para poder este, iniciar? Porque yo no sé de inglés, ¿verdad? Entonces yo sí. pensé de que podía yo este, iniciar como este. Eh, no sé, eh, así como uno enseña a los niños a leer. Ajá. Sí. Entonces, yo de cero, pues, he comenzado y, y sí. he visto que hay muchos que están en el grupo que todo lo... Bueno, hay muchos que están bien avanzados, ¿verdad? Sí. Y lo están afinando, se están afinando sí. porque esto hay que ir aprendiendo. Exacto. Pero así como yo que no tengo, digamos, a lo mejor la base, porque... Uh -huh. No, 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 no. Ok, no, recuerde lo sí. que les dije la semana pasada, lo que les, les he dicho en algunas ocasiones. El, el inglés llega a la vida de la gente, así como en español, así como en ruso, así como en chino. Que al inicio empezamos entendiendo palabras, solo palabras. Sí. Después van las porciones, los, los chunks. Ajá, sí. Y de tanto ocupar chunks, empezamos a decir ya las, las frases completas. Se va entonces, las frases. Exacto. Entonces, eh, en, en, en un nivel básico, pues se ven los colores, se ven los números. Ya vamos a ver los números con ustedes. Las partes de la casa a modo de ir bombardeando vocabulario. Ajá. Entonces, para cuando usted llega al primer tiempo gramatical, que puede ser el presente simple que estamos viendo ahorita, o el presente continuo según el libro que usted esté ocupando, ya la gente tiene vocabulario donde agarrar para armar las, 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 las oraciones. Tiene. tiene que haber mucho verbo también, ¿verdad? Tiene sí. Que ir... Verbs and nouns. Los verbos y los, los verbos. Nombres. nombres. Recuerde, la, la gramática inglesa tiene ocho partes. En sí. esas ocho partes están los verbos y los nombres. Entonces, Ajá. con esos dos, uh -huh. si, su, si su objetivo es expander su vocabulario, tienen que ser verbos. Y nombres, y los, verbs y, y nouns. Ya. So, ahí estamos a su orden. Ay, gracias. Very good. So, let's return to the main session. Welcome back. How was the exercise? ¿Cómo estuvo el ejercicio? Good teacher. Interesting. Okay, good. That's the idea. This is the idea that you practice uh, the language. Any questions or comments? Preguntas? Comentarios? No. We have, we have a question about yes, yes, vocabulary. vocabulary. Uh -huh. How do you say tienda in English. We're talking about the, the tiendas that they are in our neighbors. In our neighbors. <laughs> yeah. 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 You can say it in two different forms. You can say grocery store. Grocery okay. store. Okay. Or you can also say convenience store. Ah, okay. So the two what options about, are good. What about uh -huh. shop, teacher? What shop? about shops? Okay. Shops son tiendas en general. Puede ser que hay una tienda de zapatos, otra de artículos plásticos, otra donde venden tortillas. Shop is very general. ¿En store? Okay. Uh, eh, eh, en stores too. En stores. stores también son uh, uh, bien general. Entonces, ah. para decir tienda, ahorita se lo voy a escribir. Usted dice grocery store. Mm -hmm. But grocery store is not a store that only sells food. Uh, yeah, it's like, like a tienda. It's like a tienda, grocery store. But you cannot say store. Sure, you could say store. Lo único que store es una tienda y puede ser, pero, ¿qué clase de tienda? A shoe store? 
a, a clothing store a la tienda de mi de mi de mi de mi cuadra grocery yeah, store ah, gro grocery okay, okay. store okay, okay. yeah or convenience store convenience like this like the super seven stores in the at the gasoline gasoline station how do you say gas station <laughs> a convenience store okay yes Y si la tienda está bastante fuerte, pues le dicen mini supermarket, pero ya es un poco, es un nivel más, más serio y hay más movimiento y todo. Right. Super selecto, teacher. Ok, super selecto si es a supermarket. Like Walmart. Like Walmart, es a supermarket. Yes. So the, the advantage <laughs> of having a convenience store near your house is like, oh, I need a... Pepsi, I need a Fanta, whatever. So you don't want to go to the supermarket. I need a beer. I need a beer. <laughs> so you go to the convenience store. <laughs> it's don't, give, don't give me a, don't give me ideas, Luis. It's only Thursday. Tomorrow is Friday. Tomorrow is Friday. <laughs> it smells like. <laughs> right. It smells like Friday. <laughs> yeah, it smells like Friday. Exactly. <laughs> So convenience store or grocery store are two terms and the two terms are valid. The two terms are accepted. Thank any, you. any other questions, class? Questions or comments? No. All right, let's continue. Ahorita vamos a hacer a listening exercise. A listening exercise. Okay. Eh, hice con ustedes um, un ejercicio donde hay tres conversaciones súper pequeñas donde dan a, pero no el de interchange que le mandé un link, sino que uno donde va diciéndole eh, eh, números telefónicos. Sí. Yes. 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 Pero cuál, which one are you talking about? ¿De cuál está hablando? Numbers and email I want that you have to listen the number and the email. Ok, ok. Uh, ok, ok, sí. Entonces, estamos bien. Porque ese sí ya lo, ya lo descarté, ya sé que lo vi con ustedes. Pero vamos a ver otro. Do you have pen and paper? Yes. ¿Tienen papel yes, y lápiz? Teacher. Ok, todos con papel y lápiz. Everybody. Díganme si oyen el sonido, please. ¿Oyen el sonido que estoy chequeando? Yes. Okay. Excellent. Yes, yes. All right. Here we go. We go here. Download. All right. Pay attention. Sorry, did you say 17 or 70? Sorry, did you say 17 or 70? Sorry, did you say 17 or 70? What is the question? It's about the number teacher, but I do didn't. You, do, you say, do you say 17 or 7? Excellent. Excellent. Está bien. Dicen 17 o 70. Or 70. Esta es la segunda pregunta. Dice, usted dice, usted dice, o usted va a decir. Pay attention. Sorry, did you say 17 or 70? Sorry, did you say 17 or 70? Uh-huh. Sorry, do you say 17 or 70? Okay, does the, does the lady say do or did? Did. 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 did? Disculpa, sorry, did he say Sorry, did, did you say, say 17 or 17? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, pay attention. Sorry, did you say 17 or 17? Sorry, did you say 17 or 17? One more time, listen carefully. Sorry, 
Did you say seventeen or seventy? Sorry, did you say seventeen or seventy? Sorry, did you say seventeen or seventy? Okay, what is the answer? Volunteer to put it in the chat. Sorry, what is sorry? Disculpa. Do you remember the magic words? Thank you. Do you remember the magic words? What are the magic words? Please. Thank Please. you. Thank you. Thank you. Excuse well, me. Excuse me. ¿Cuál ocupan aquí en este audio? Sorry. 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 Okay. So, si hay dos personas hablando, yo paso en medio. What am I supposed to say? Excuse me. Excuse me. Yes. Mm. Si yo me doy la vuelta y en lo que me doy la vuelta, usted va pasando y por accidente lo golpeo, ¿qué le tengo que decir? Sorry. 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 Yes. Cuando usted recibe un, un favor, ¿qué debe de decir? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Y cuando a usted le dicen thank you, what are you supposed to say? You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Excellent. Very good. Vamos a ver quién puso el, 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 en el chat. Vamos a ver. Sorry. Did you say 17 or 70? 17 or 70? Sorry. Did you say 17 or 70? Ajá. ¿Cree usted que hay posibilidad de poner 70 en vez de 17 o 17 en vez de 70? 17. ¿Cree que existe la posibilidad de que se confunda la persona? Ya, yeah. 17 or 70. 17 or yes. suenan muy parecidos. Sí. How do you say 14 in English? 14. 14. 14. 14. How do you say 40 in English? 40. 40. 40. So recuerde, entre el 13 y el 19, usted dice 13, 14, 14 15, 15, 16. 15. La fuerza de voz va al final. How do you say fuerza de voz in English? Strong. Stress. 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 So, stress. from 13 to 19, the stress is at the end. 13, 14, 15. How do you spell stress? Stress. Stress. Oh, How do you spell stress. It? Como el estrés que pasamos en el tráfico. Stress, ahí está. <clears throat> So, stress es lo que experimentamos todos los días y también significa fuerza de voz. Stress. You can say like the accent of teacher, stress. Um, yeah, 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 the accent. Okay. Yeah. So, sorry, did you say 17 or 70? Okay. Here we go with number two. Pay attention. Okay, here we go. Pay attention. Your total bill is forty-nine dollars and twelve cents. Your total bill is forty-nine dollars and twelve cents. Your total bill is forty-nine dollars and twelve cents. What is the amount? Forty-nine dollars and twenty cents. cents. Something different? See this in forty-nine dollars, but it's not uh, twenty cents. Twelve. Twelve is correct. Listen carefully. Uh -huh. Your total bill is forty-nine dollars and twelve cents. Twelve. Your total bill is forty-nine dollars and twelve cents. 
Okay, what is the amount? $49.12. Okay, very good. $49.12. Eso es el precio de qué? I don't understand your total. De su recibo, de your bill. Okay, but what, what does it say exactly? Listen carefully. El total de la comida, teacher? No, not exactly. El, no. el total de la factura. Exactly. Listen total. carefully. Your total bill is $49.12. Your total bill is $49.12. Your total bill. 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 Oh, Your total bill. Total bill is. Yes. I hear mil. <laughs> Sorry. Bill. Bill. How do you say recibo in English? Bill. Bill. Yeah. Dice, ahorita se los pongo. $49.12. Your total bill is $49.12. $49.12. Okay. ¿Qué dijimos que significaba bill? What's the meaning of bill? Recibo. 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 What else? ¿Qué más significa bill? Algo que usted toca todos los días. Billete. Exactly. Billete. Y si hablamos de decisiones políticas, también significa decreto. Ya, yeah, decreto. So the Congress approved a new bill. El Congreso aprobó un nuevo decreto. So bill significa recibo, significa decreto y también significa billete. All right. Is, is the second listening clear? Está claro el segundo. Aquí vamos con el último. Listen carefully. Here we go. The phone number here is 467-8876. The phone number here is 467-8876. Uh-huh. What's the telephone number? Four, Four six, seven, eight, 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 seven, seven, eight, 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 Yes. The phone number is four, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six. Mm -hmm. Yep. Questions. Four, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six. That is good. All right. Questions? Sorry, how, how, what did she say? The phone number here is? Yes. The phone number here is? Ah, okay. Aquí va, fíjense. The phone number here is for? The phone number here is? Uh-huh. Questions? Questions, questions? So, a estas alturas, si alguien le dice, excuse me, what is your telephone number? Ni le han terminado de preguntar y usted está respondiendo en inglés. Right? <laughs> o que le digan, excuse me, what is your email address? Igual, no le han terminado de preguntar y usted le está diciendo su correo en inglés. Very good. All right, any questions? Preguntas? I guess not. Let me see, where's the book? ¿Qué se hizo este libro? I have a question, teacher. Ask me, Luis. That wallpaper is Cuba? <laughs> what is it? That wallpaper. No. Um, Hospital Rosales? Hospital Rosales, exactly. Okay. Oh, really? In yeah. What year? Uh, I don't know exactly, but if you analyze the cars, it must be before 1940. Yeah, like 20s, 1920s, late 30s, maybe. Yeah, maybe 1930. But yeah, it's Hospital Rosales. Yeah. Do you like classic cars? 
Yes, teacher. Yes, I do. Yes. Classic cars are cool. I have, they have a project. They have like more passion, more art. Yeah. Yeah. True. So yeah, classic cars are cool. Okay. ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que pasaron por el Hospital Rosales? Last month. <laughs> Last month. Okay. Three months ago. Three but, months it's ago. but it's a different with your picture, teacher. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's true, that's true. Yeah, the picture is more attractive than reality. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let me see this here. I found the book. Okay. Go here. And here we go. Can you see my book? Yes, teacher. Okay. We are on page 25. Page 25. How do you say imprimir in English? Print. 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 Los que dijeron print, ¿cómo lo saben? Lo tuvieron que haber visto. In my computer for the work. Exactly. Print. Para saberlo, lo tuvo que haber visto en algún lugar o lo tuvo que haber oído en algún lugar. Entonces, por eso les insisto, si usted um, trabaja con Facebook, si usted trabaja mucho con su correo, todo aquello a lo cual usted está expuesto todos los días, si digamos su teléfono es uh, esencial en su trabajo, póngalo en inglés. Póngalo en inglés. Eh, cuando usted pone las cosas en inglés, eh, inconscientemente, sin estar revisando, sin estar repasando ni nada, usted internaliza. Y cuando usted internaliza, ya se hace... Um, una vez lo internaliza, ya es parte suyo. Nadie se lo quita. Un ejemplo. How do you say cielo falso en inglés? Uh, rooftop. Not really. In the in the kinder, uh, how do you say enseñarme teacher? Taught me. Teach. 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 In kinder, But, they taught me. Uh, ceiling. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Entonces, ahí, ahí se lo voy a poner, mire. Con esto quiero que haga este ejercicio. Y usted me dice dentro de una semana si me equivoqué o no. Fíjese bien. Si usted cuando se va a acostar... Usted pone en, en el cielo falso, donde usted se acuesta, pone la palabra ceiling. Cada vez que usted se acueste, va a verlo. Y no va a empezar a repetirlo, sino que simplemente lo va a ver. Y al siguiente día, y al siguiente día, a los tres, cuatro días, de estarlo solo viendo, no repitiendo ni nada, solo de estarlo viendo, lo internaliza y es parte suyo. Pero para eso... Tiene que exponerse usted al idioma. So, silly. How do you say lavamanos in English? How do I say no? <laughs> usted dice sink. Sink, yes. Es, es, a, I don't. <laughs> uh -huh. S, I, N, K. N, K. <laughs> y fíjese sink. bien, cuando usted hace estos ejercicios para expandir su vocabulario, no solo se beneficia usted, sino que toda persona que va a donde está rotulado. Si usted le pone zinc a lavamanos de su casa, haga de caso que va dos veces al, al día a su, a su lavamanos. Pueda que sea mucho más. Cada vez que entra, usted dice zinc, zinc, zinc. Y todos los que entran a ese lavamanos también lo van a ver. So, that's a, that's a technique that is very productive. Uh, nombrar todas las partes donde usted uh, se, se, se desenvuelve. All right. Anyways, any questions so far, people? No. Ahorita vamos a trabajar en grupos de cuatro. Fíjese bien. Si yo estuviese trabajando con Osmin, Luis, Rosa y su servidor. Yo le preguntaría a Rosa, Rosa, what are your daily activities? Mientras Rosa responde, Luis apunta, Osmin apunta, 
y yo apunto. Entonces, uno de los cuatro va a estar hablando y los otros van a estar anotando. Is it clear? ¿Está claro? ¿Cómo le va a preguntar qué hace a diario? What are your daily activities, right? What are your daily activities? ¿Ya? Yeah. Entonces, para no parecer que estamos recitando algo, con tres actividades que mencione son suficientes. Questions or comments? No, está claro lo que vamos a hacer, class? Yes, no, maybe. Yes, it's true. Yes. Yes. Okay, so let me do this. Break our rooms. So, vamos a recreate, recreate. Vamos a poner a esta persona en el uno. Vamos a poner a esta persona en el tres. Vamos a poner, we're going to put this person in room four. And that's it. Quedan de tres cada grupo, así que debería de ser más rápida la actividad. So, go ahead. Entreviste a sus compañeros.
es fast away, así como pro, cuando están de funerarias y así como profesional. Ah, ah teacher. Yes, sir. Yes, so Stephanie is, is telling me that one of their duties in her job is to call people about information when a family member passed away. Is that correct when yeah. you want to say murió, vea? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. eh, ¿Cómo se dice cooperativa? Y les dicho. Cooperative. Ah. Cooperative. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. So the task is call people about Informa about information when a family member passed away. Uh, do you work in a hospital? No, in a co no. Co cooperative. Cooperative. Okay, so the cooperative uh, calls Call the... a, a familiar a uh, the cooperative to call a familiar people to had a, uh, for example, brother and mothers and pass you offer away. Benefits, and you offer benefits. Not to have because the copper, eh, es como un asociado, ¿verdad? El asociado estaba como eh, con nosotros aportando una cierta cantidad y nosotros le damos el seguro de vida que tiene él oh. a sus como beneficiarios. Ok, how do you say seguro in English? Mm. Social, no. In, in, I, know, I don't know. Insurance. Ah, insurance. insurance. Sí, es cierto. Insurance. Yes, okay. Yes. Sí, si la cooperativa tenía un, uh, un seguro con el cliente y el cliente muere, eh, yeah, there is a process that people need to follow. Mm -hmm. True. True. So, so how do you say that task? Uh, uh, Stephanie called people to give insurance information when a family member passed away. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, let me visit another room. A okay. Any questions or comments? Uh, do you have a question, Stephanie? Ah, how do you Is say... How, how do you say when eh, yo preparo mi comida para, para llevármela al, al trabajo? Prepare my lunch. Al trabajo. Box. Yeah, I prepare my lunch for work. Box. I'm not not uh, box, just uh, lunch. Yeah, I, I prepare my, well, if you want to say lonchera, lunch box, then you say, I prepare my lunch box for work. Uh -huh. Yeah. But if not, I prepare my lunch to... To, work, to eat it to, at work. To eat it at work. Not to bring it at work. Or to bring it at work, sure. Okay, okay. Yes, you can. Okay. Any other questions? No? To eat it at work. Uh, to eat it at work. Can you repeat me? Oh, okay. To eat, it. to eat it at work. To bring it to work. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Discipline at school. Eh, tengo que organizar la disciplina en la escuela. Mm -hmm. La tres es, I have to prepare or projects um, a children meeting. Que tengo que preparar sí. proyectos y agendar reuniones. Bien. Esas serían las tres mías. Good, very good. <laughs> nice. Okay. Break, break es break, pero va unido even. Ajá, uh -huh, break even, even point. Ajá, uh -huh, break, break even. even. Break even, por decir algo. Even. Break even point. Ajá. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Break even point. Break, cabal, eso. Y, y eso es calcular, digo. Ah, calcular el punto de equilibrio. Gracias. Calcular el punto de equilibrio. De equilibrio. Y estas son finanzas, usted. Sí. Ah, yes. Okay. <risa> That's good. Vaya, teacher, hay que, teacher. que le hagan las cuentas. 
Yes, we. How do you say cotización? Quote. Ah, okay. Quote. 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 So, si digamos le dicen, mire, tengo que comprar X cosa, entonces uh -huh. mire su super. Hágame la cotización. Please quote. Cotización. Por favor, cotice. Please uh, quote. Ok. Quote. Yeah. Sí. Quote. ¿Y como actividad? Uh, quote. Entonces, make, make the quotes. O puede decir solamente, please quote, por favor, uh, cotice. Cotice. Ya. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. en, en, en el caso de que yo las hago las cotizaciones, ¿cómo digo? Yo hago cotizaciones. I quote. I quote. I quote. Yes. Yo cotizo. I yes. Quote. I o sea, que puede usarse como un verbo, teacher. Sí, es un verbo y también... a un noun. Sustantivo. Yes. Exactly. Y si quiero decir, ella hace cotización. She, she makes quotes. quotes. Or ah, she, she makes quotes. quotes. Ver, okay. yeah. ah. Porque como dice eh, eh, Rick, puede ser un verbo. Entonces dice, oh, ella cotiza. She ah, quotes. Ah, ok. Or, or, no. She quotes. Yeah, she quotes. Yeah. Y atención al cliente es customer service. Customer service, yes. Customer service. Atender a los clientes. Ya, yeah. ya, yeah, for different no sé, reasons. No. Que llevaron a una talla que no era, o mandaron material que no era, quieren una... Y yo llego a la tienda y le digo, buenos días, eh, quiero comprar eh, algo. Ajá. Es customer service. O, o teacher, no, ¿cuál sería no, el mejor customer camino? Service, customer yeah. service, usted mira cuando customer hay... service cuando ha habido algún inconveniente. Ah, Fíjese ok, que... pero si yo llego a comprar a la tienda y ella me atiende, a sales. Ya, yeah, the salesperson. The ah, salesperson. Y cuando es una devolución, ¿cuál sería la mejor forma para decirlo? Uh, refund. Refund. Refund, ahorita refund. se lo escribo. Cuando usted va a almacenes, ahí le ponen en un gran rótulo que dice no Gracias. refund. No, no refund. devoluciones. Lo mucho que le pueden hacer es cambiarle el producto. Dice, ah, no, le, le podemos dar otro producto que te gusta, pero su dinero, olvídese. <risa> ya. Yeah. 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 Refund. Exacto. All right, ya es casi la hora. Vamos a regresar al main session. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, it's almost time. Si hay algo que usted no entiende o quiere eh, información adicional, siéntase en libertad de escribirme. Francisco, no entendí este tema. ¿Dónde puedo averiguar más? Y con gusto uh, lo, lo tratamos. La idea es de que todos vamos a, ¿cómo se llama? avanzando, como les decía anteriormente, hay algunos de ustedes que ya han estudiado antes, ya vienen un poco fogueados, eh, entonces independientemente sea de ellos o de los que van empezando, hay que siempre trabajar con, con teamwork, así en, en, en equipo, así que, y si por alguna razón no quiere preguntarle a sus compañeros, pregúnteme a mí y yo al tener la oportunidad con gusto le respondo. Any questions or comments? Preguntas? No. Okay, so thank you very much. Thank you for your precious two hours. And we continue tomorrow. Same place, same time. Have a good night. See you, teacher. Hey, good night, teacher. Bye, bye. Good night, everyone. Bye. Good night. Good night, good night everybody. Good night. Feliz sueño para todos. Thank you. You too, Marta. Okay.